Welcome to our channel Sankal Study Success. In this video, we are going to learn about linear congruence. What is linear congruence actually is? We are going to see that and also some of the problems related to linear congruence. Okay, so now what does linear congruence states is if a comma b are integers. If a and b are integers, uh, a and b are positive integers and also n belongs to integer. n is also a number which is belongs to integer and there is a solution where x belongs to z. There is a solution where x belongs to z so that ax is congruent to 2 b mod m. This is not n, actually it is m. So now, if a and b are integers, positive integers and m belongs to integers, there is a solution x belongs to z such that ax is congruent to b mod m. This is known as linear congruence. It is linear congruence. So, this is the linear congruence which is if a and b are integers and n is m is also an integer and there is there exists a solution such that there exists a solution such that x is belongs to integers so ax is congruent to b mod m here now let us see what is x here x is an unknown okay we need to find out x in each and every problem now let us go into the first question let us solve some problems on linear congruence so that will become clear with the concept so the first problem is 131 x which is congruent to 21 mod 77 so you have to carefully listen this because it is a most important and also somewhat tricky so now it is of the form ax congruent to b mod m right yes ax is congruent to b mod m from here you can write the values of a b and m a value is 131 b value is 21 and m value is 77 so from the above equation we got these values first you have to find out gcd of a comma m that is gcd of 131 comma 77 here the gcd of 131 comma 77 is 1 okay and you have to consider this as d value value d let us consider it as value d now find out what is b by d which is nothing but 21 by 1 which is again 21 am i correct yeah now find out d mod m okay d is nothing but 1 1 mod 77 is always 1. So, here if you get an integer, then you can say that the solution exists. The value is 1, so there is only one solution. If the value is 2, then there will be two solutions which exist for the given equation. If it is 3, then there will be three solutions. But if the value which you got here, it is in the form of a floating number, which is a float that means which is in the form of decimal then you can say that there is no solution exists for the given equation so now for this equation we are having one solution so let's find out that one solution so now what you have to do is you have to divide the given equation with d on both sides divide given equation given equation 1 let us consider this as equation 1 and divide equation 1 with value d on both sides okay so now 131 x is congruent to 21 mod 70 if you divide with 1 on both sides then also you will get the same equation now you have to multiply multiply a inverse on both sides so what is a in a value 131 131 inverse that means what 131 into 131 inverse of x is congruent to 21 
uh, and 21 into 131 right you have to also multiply 131 inverse so what happens is 21 into 130 i'm sorry here there's a little bit of disturbance so we can take it as 21 into 131 inverse So let us write it here 131 into 131 inverse x is congruent to 21 into 131 inverse of mod 77 that means here 131 and 131 inverse gets cancelled and x is congruent to 21 into 131 inverse mod 17 correct so here 131 inverse how can you express this 131 inverse how can you reduce it 131 inverse if you multiply it with any number then if you do multiply it with any number and do mod 77 then you should get one you have to find such a number by trial and error method so if you multiply 131 inverse into 10 mod 77 then you will get it as 1 so that means what the remainder is 10 right that means you are doing the least residue of 131 inverse that means we got 10 so here we can substitute in place of 131 inverse you can substitute 10 mod 77 and you will get it as x is equals to 210 mod 77 here again 210 mod 77 can be written as 56 mod 77 right because after uh, reducing it again then you will get it as 56 mod 77 so this is the simplest form where x is equals to 56 mod 77 so this is the linear congruence of given equation so if the question is if the question is given as solve the linear congruence of any equation then first it will be in the form of ax is congruent to b mod m and you have to write the values of a b and m a value is 131 from the equation b value is 21 and the m value is 77 now the first step is to find out the gcd of a comma m and then you have to find d mod m d mod m value is 1 if this d mod m value is 1 then you will be having only one solution that is we got only one solution right for x we are having only x value as 56 mod 77 and if you have two solutions then you need to find out another solution as well so here divide equation 1 with the d on both sides always you have to divide with this d value on both sides of the equation here d value is 1 so you will get only uh, one uh, you will get the same equation right so now multiply a inverse on both sides so that you will get this equation on further simplification you will get x is equals to 56 mod 77 so this is the linear congruence problem so in the same manner let us see one more example which is the second question which uh, solve linear congruence for uh, let us see an equation such as 8x is congruent to 10 mod 6. Let us see this equation. 8x is congruent to 10 mod 6. That means here it is of the form ax is congruent to b mod m. Right? From here let us write a, b and m values. a value as 8, b value as 10 and m value is 6. So now what is the first step the first step is to find the gcd of a comma m right that is 8 comma 6 sorry gcd of 8 comma 6 right it is not just 8 comma 6 it is gcd of 8 comma 6 so what is the gcd of 8 comma 6 it is 2 correct so gcd of this 8 comma 6 is 2 that means this is the d value so now what you have to do you have to find out uh, you have to also find out b by d value right what is b by d value 10 by 2 which is nothing but 5 b 
by by d value is 5 so now let us find out d mod m 5 mod 6 5 mod 6 what is the value of 5 mod 6 see 5 mod 6 value is 5 right 5 mod 6 value is 5 so now here you will be having it has two congruence incongruent solutions you are having these many incongruent solutions so so uh, in order to solve linear congruence to this equation you will get these many solutions okay this i think this question is also very clear for you and now let us see an all one more example for if you have there is no solution in what is such case so let us see one more example solve linear congruence for uh, let us take the equation as 2x is congruent to 2 3 mod 4 i think this equation may not have solution so let us check whether it has a solution or not so now it is of the form ax is congruent to 2 b mod m so now what are the values of a b and m a is equals to 2 b equals to 3 and m is equals to 4 so now we need to find out the gcd of a comma m that is nothing but gcd of 2 comma 4 what is the gcd of 2 comma 4 which is again 2 right this is the value of d okay now you have to find out b by d value which is 3 by 2 3 by 2 is nothing but 1.5 that means you got it in the form of float number that is in decimal so there is no solution if you get it in the form of decimal then there is no solution here b by d is in the form of decimal so there is no solution no solution exists so for therefore for the equation 2x is congruent to 2, 3 mod 4 there is no solution okay so like this you need to find out whether there is a solution for the given linear congruence or not if there is a solution you will find out the solution if there is no solution then you will write it as there is no solution okay let us meet in the next video with a new topic thank you for watching